Hi, I'm Tom Lincoln. I haven't received my camera yet, but I'm using my friends to uh, test uploading video to it. Anyways, uh, I want to tell you a quick story about my experience in 2002 using the electronic voting machines. When I pressed the uh, Democratic candidate for governor, it lit up the Republican candidate, Jeb Bush of Florida. John Ellis Bush, the president's brother. And um, <clears throat> we're here at Shadow Vote, and um, we're getting ready to do our uh, procedures for monitoring the vote in uh, Pasco and Pinellas County. That'd be the Tampa Bay area, the I-4 corridor. This is a precinct map of Pinellas. And um, we're going to be watching for voter fraud, complaints, any issues that people may have with uh, voting and voting irregularities. And we'll probably go to the Election Service Center after the polling places have closed to watch the tabulation and totaling of the votes along with the media. And we're also scheduled to go uh, for three days before the November 4th election to watch the canvassing board. So um, we're hoping that uh, everything goes well. We get some winners on our side for a change. Yes, we want change. Here's my buddy Chris. He's on the internet. Here's my buddy Mark. Hey Mark. He looks Hello. a lot like Carl Rove. <laughs> Um, and over here is, uh, he's a roving maniac. Here we have a little bit from the Alex Jones show. I'll play for you. It's on uh, YouTube with uh, Bev Harris of Black Box Voting. I haven't well, listened to this you know, myself. I haven't listened to this myself, so I don't really know what you can expect here. But I don't want to make this too long. Um... I guess if you really needed to uh, get a hold of me, the best way to do it is uh, leave a message for me. Um, someone will answer the phone. Uh, you can ask for me. I might be there. But my home phone number is 727-847-1615. I guess uh, if you want to talk to me or leave a message for me, I may or may not be at that number. Um, and here we go. In points, asking too many questions. She is the premier expert on election fraud. Uh, Blackboxvoting.org, the nonprofit. Her incredible documentary, uh, Hacking Democracy, back on HBO, proving fraud, proving scams, proving that you can hack these systems, remote control, thousands of systems, proving it's designed for that, catching them throwing out the computer tapes in the trash when they said they didn't have them. I mean, so much. So, so Bev. In the hour we've got together, I'm going to try to really give you the floor. Like you're doing an hour presentation. I'll throw in a few questions here or there, or take us in and out of break. But I want you to really overview the basic history of the election fraud, not just the new touch screens or systems, but the scantrons you know, that are still centrally tabulated, where we're going, what happened in the, uh, briefly, uh, what happened in the, um, uh, you know, some of the anomalies we saw in problems uh, uh, earlier in the campaign. Uh, uh, this year going to the primaries and then now what you're seeing, uh, seeing coming up 27 days away from the election right now which again as you point out in your film that you're in on HBO uh, Hacking Democracy in areas where you got the Democrats running things they're clearly running shenanigans and where Republicans run things they're shenanigans this is bipartisan fraud going on and, and, and again you have done such a great job exposing this so anything and everything you want to cover whatever angles and then right after the election, she'll also be here with us to analyze what's happened then, because we know what's going to happen. Uh, Bev Harris, thank you for coming on with us. Well, great. It's always good to be here, Alex. You bet. Yeah, well, in a nutshell, we converted our whole country, based almost all our, our whole country, except for about 600 small population ham sites. Uh, we converted it to secret vote counting controlled by government insiders and How vendors. Are making that video? Therefore... We actually transferred power. Five this minutes. is what we did. As the citizenry, we used to have control over our elections. We transferred power to government insiders and vendors. And 
people kind of right, act stop. like I'm a radical when I say we don't actually have democratic elections.